Big tractor comparison here on 350 horsepower level, two of my favorite tractor series, so, from one side we have the largest model of 7R series of John Deere, the 7R350, against the fourth largest model of 900 series of Kloss, the 930 Action, both are very big and they compete each other on 350 horses, so let's see which of the two comes first on overall comparison, of course subscribe, like and share this video and click the bell button right down to the video to take notifications for new videos we upload, let's see what we have here. The Deere wears the John Deere Powertech PVSB8 diesel compatible engine of 9 liters and 6 cylinders, it is the second largest engine produced by the John Deere company. Kloss from the other side wears a smaller engine of FPT Industrial, with 8.7 liters and 6 cylinders, so the Deere has larger engine on 350 horses level than Kloss, that means better performance on high working speeds. The gross power of the Deere is at 350 horses, it can be boosted at 385 horses and it can touch also the 388 horses peak with IPM. Kloss from the other side has the same gross power as we said, at 350 horses, it can be boosted at 355 and it can touch the 360 horses max with approval value, so both have the same rated power, but the Deere surpassed the class on boosting at least for 20 horses. The PTO power of the Deere is at 260 horses, the class has higher PTO, at 296 peak. The peak torque of the engine of the Deere is at 1580 Nm on 1600 revolutions per minute, the class has higher torque, at 1695 Nm on 1400 revolutions per minute. So the Kloss is the king of the torque here, as it touches much higher on lower revolutions. The Deere's rear hitch lift is a 6,900 kg standard, it can touch the 7,850 kg and a maximum overall rear lift of 13,010 kg. The front hitch can have a capacity up to 3,150 to 5,200 kg. Kloss from the other side has lower peak lift at rear hitch starting from 7,520 kg standard lift and it can touch the 10,950 overall. The front one is higher than Deere's at 5,185 to 6,513 kg max. The interval for engine oil change of Deere is every 500 hours. Kloss's takes longer time, at 600. The top speed of the Deere is at 40 to 50 km per hour, wearing the auto power variable, or IVT efficiency manager transmission type and a max fuel tank capacity of 463 liters for efficiency manager or 513 liters with auto power. Some of the cabine innovations on full extra version are, larger and wider cabine than previous models, footrests, touchscreen radio, touchscreen monitor, carpet, cool box fro food and drinks, leather heated and ventilated seat with adjustable bolsters and massage functionality, pneumatic lumbar adjustment, swivel adjustment that allows the seat to be swiveled 40 degrees to the right or 25 degrees to the left, Bluetooth, USB ports, wide telescopic and heated mirrors, more than 20 LED lights and more. The top speed of Kloss from the other side is at 40 to 50 km per hour also, wearing the C-Matic continuously variable transmission and a max fuel tank capacity at 640 liters as wheeled model. Some of the cabine innovations are, 4-point suspended cab, 12 inches Cebus screen, non-slip leather steering wheel, illuminated interior, LED headlights for perfect illumination, the driver's activated ventilated suspended and passenger seat are available with modern non-slip fabric or elegant easy care leather upholstery, sockets in easy reach, USB ports, Bluetooth connection, wide angle mirrors for better visibility and more. So, we saw the overall output comparison, let's now see the size of these two. By the way all the facts come from the official brochures of each company down to the description with the Deer 7R releasing a new one, so we must re-upload some of our videos. The basic weight of Kloss is at 12,500 to 13,500 kg and it can touch the 18,000 kg of max permissible. Deer from the other side is a lighter tractor, starting with 11,400 kg basic and it can touch also the 18,000 kg of max permissible. The length of the Kloss is at 5.74 meters, Deer is a little longer, touching the 5.91 meters max. The wheelbase of the Kloss is at 3.15 meters, Deer's is smaller at 2.92 meters. The height of the cub of Kloss is at 3.44 meters, Deer is taller, at 3.49 meters max. So, as a conclusion, on 350 horses level, the Deer has larger engine, higher boosted power, higher rear hitch lift capacity, smaller fuel tanks on its transmissions, it is longer and slightly taller than Kloss. Kloss from the other side on 350 horses level has longer interval for oil change, higher torque on lower revolutions than Deer.
higher PTO power, higher front hitch lift, it is about 1 to 2 tons heavier on basic weight with larger wheelbase. So, friends, which of the two would you call stronger with better output? Nobody knows, until you put them in the field with the same plow, what would you choose? Maybe a lighter deer with larger engine could have an advantage on working speeds, but we can't say for sure, waiting thousands of comments, subscribe us, see you.